today's exercise you're going to need jute twine, any size or color will do, a lighter, a knife, and a canvas needle from your 10-piece kit. Today we're going back to the basics, and we're going to start with reverse wrap cordage. So what I want to do is I want to approach this as a beginner, like we knew nothing, and then build off of that. So take your jute twine, and place it in the center of your chest, take your fingers, grab the twine, and now extend your arm. This gives you a unit of measure. For me, I know it's three foot three. Once you have your unit of measure, go ahead and cut it. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Go ahead and locate your center point. Now take your index finger and thumb from both your hands. Leave yourself about an inch gap. What I want to do is I want to take my right hand, I want to twist away from me. I want to take my left hand and twist it towards me. And that should form a loop. There's my loop right there. Now I take my left hand, index finger and thumb, and I'm going to pinch that loop. Now, we have two strands now. That's why it's called two-ply reverse wrap cordage. Now if you wanted to do a four-ply, I would just go ahead and lay my cordage out. Place another one on top of it, twist it the exact same way, there's my loop. Now I have beefed up cordage, it's four ply because I have four strands here. And it can become six ply or eight ply, and it can go on forever. So let's go back to the two ply. Look at my center point, twist away while I twist towards. There's my loop, place into my left hand, index finger and thumb. Now I have one horizontal, one vertical. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my index finger and thumb of my right hand, and I'm going to twist it away from me until it's tight. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my middle finger of my right hand, I'm going to grab my vertical, and I'm going to pinch it between my index finger. Just like that. Now I'm going to wrap it towards myself. Separate them, do the exact same thing again. Twist away, grab, wrap. So I'm twisting away from myself. Again, grabbing it with my middle finger and pressing it against the nail of my index finger. Wrapping it towards my body. Away, grab, wrap. Twist away, grab, wrap. And then you just keep repeating this process until you get your quarters completed or carpal tunnel, one or the other. <laughs> Every once in a while you gotta separate them out. Twist away, grab, and wrap. And as you progress, it should resemble cordage you buy at the store. And the true test is, when you let go of it and lay it down, it doesn't unwind itself. So you must be doing it right. Now we'll continue on here for a little bit. The important thing as a beginner is getting the rhythm correct. Remember you need to twist it away from yourself. Grabbing it, wrapping it towards yourself. Then you can get real cool and close your eyes and do this all day. It goes pretty quick. Just like that. Now that you're comfortable making cordage, we're going to talk about splicing cordage in order to make it longer. So what you want to do, you have a situation like this. You just go ahead and cut some more cordage, however long you want. What you're going to do, 
is once again locate your center, take that center piece, place it up inside there, and then go ahead and separate your strands. Just like that. Now, I, again, I'm right handed, so I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pinch just like I did before, right there. So I have a horizontal and a vertical. And I'll pick this right back up and do the exact same method that we did before. I'm going to twist away. I'm going to make it extra tight because I have four ply right here. Go ahead and grab right here. Index finger, middle finger. Wrap it towards your body. Twist till it's tight. Grab it and wrap. If you notice, it's thicker where our splice is. Two ply, four ply. Your splice should always be thicker. And you'll just keep on doing this all the way to the end. Or until you have to add an extra splice. And the tighter you make it, the neater it looks. You can see right here where we started, it's two ply, we added our splice, became four ply, splice ends, and we went right back into two ply right here. And then we'll just continue on. Once you're comfortable making reverse wrap cordage and you have your splicing down, it's time to move on. So what I want to do right now is grab an item from my 10 piece kit. The item I want to grab is my canvas needle. Now keep in mind, we carry a 10 piece kit for a reason. So anytime you get a chance to use those items to learn a skill or hone a skill, take advantage of it. Grab your needle, find a tree, and let's get started. On your tree, all you're looking for is a flat surface, preferably with no sap. Then what you want to do is just go eye height, place your needle, and tap it in about a 45 degree angle. And you only need to go in about a half inch. For the next step, go ahead and grab jute twine. I got a little bit of a green left over here. I'm going to measure it out and see what we have. But you want around 20 feet, probably at a minimum. So let me go ahead and measure this. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. 15, 18, 21. Wow, we got a lot more. 24. And change so about 25 feet right here so go ahead and grab about 25 feet go back to our tree with our canvas needle we'll kick this bad boy off this step right here is also the same as before you want to go ahead and twist it index finger and thumb index finger and thumb all you're doing you're twisting this one away and you're twisting your left hand towards you so right's away left is toward you're going to create that loop There's your loop. Go ahead and pinch it with your index finger and thumb with your left hand. Now, start the process. Twist away. Grab it. Wrap towards you. Twist away. Grab and wrap. You want to do this about four or five times. Just like that. We have our loop right there. Go ahead and open it up a little bit. Now place that loop over your canvas needle. This next process I'm going to show you 
follows the same methodology as before, where you're going to twist and wrap. However, instead of twisting one at a time and wrapping it, we're going to twist them both to the right, and then we're going to wrap it to our left. Twist to the right, wrap to our left. It saves a little bit of time, not a whole lot, but some. Twist to the right, wrap to your left. And again, like before, the true test is when you let go, does it unravel? It doesn't. It stays right there. So again, twist to our right, wrap to the left, twist, wrap. The fact that we're using 25 feet of jute twine, we're not going to need to splice, but should you need to, you do it the exact same way, open it up, pinch your other piece, stick it inside there, and then just twist and wrap all the way down. Also. If you're tired of doing this method right here, twisting them both and wrapping them over, twist to the right, wrap to the left, all you gotta do is come back over here and pinch it and you can go right back to your old method. Same as before. Or switch back over. All right, keep in mind we started with 25 feet. Found the halfway point that's about 12 and a half feet. So go ahead and finish this thing off, and I got something else for you. Once you reach your end, and you have about 12 to 12 and a half feet, just go ahead and place an overhand knot or a stopper knot at the end of your cordage, just like that. All right, you made it so far and you're doing great. You should have between 12 and 12 and a half feet of reverse wrap cordage with a stopper knot at the end. Go ahead and find the center point, go back to your tree, and what we're going to do is take your reverse wrap cordage and beef it up into rope. We've located our halfway point. So what we need to do right now is create a loop. So what we want to do is we want to do the exact opposite of last time. So take your index finger and thumb of your right hand, index finger and thumb of your left hand. What you want to do is go ahead and you want to twist your right hand towards you while twisting your left hand away from you. There's your loop. Now place that loop over your needle, just like that. Now what you want to do from right here is last time we twisted everything to the right and wrap it to the left. So we're going to twist both these strands to the left to a tight and then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it to the right just like that. Twist to the left, wrap to the right. Left, right. Left, over right. Twist to the left, Wrap it to the right. And you can see this resembles small diameter rope. Twist to the left, wrap to the right. And from here it goes pretty quick.
And once again, the true test is, go ahead and let go of it. If it's not unraveling, you did it right. Go ahead and finish it all the way off and put a stopper knot at the end. And lastly, go ahead and take your lighter. You can burn the fuzz off just like that. And you can see how it resembles like a small diameter rope. Welcome back. We started with 25 feet and when it's said and done we have between 3 and 5 foot of small diameter rope. However, it's beefed up enough to where you could use it for lashings or even a ridge line and it won't break or fray on you the way 2-ply cordage would. So keep that in mind. Now the same process or techniques can be applied to natural materials as well. Natural materials such as inner fibers of cottonwood, aspen, tulip poplar, you can use stinging nettle, dogbane, even yucca leaves. The list goes on and on and on. The important takeaways are get comfortable with that rhythm and splicing. Thanks for the comments, views, support. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.